Bonjour, welcome back. After doing the unit 2 revision, in this video you're going to find revisions for the end of year assessment year 9 French and the work we're doing today is unit 3. Okay guys, as I've said before to you, the only thing you need is some uh, space to do some work, virtual exercise book or a normal like uh, exercise book or even some line paper. You need to have your textbook open to the various pages. But first we're going to start on page 57 because we need to go and check our vocabulary. Okay, so let's go there. The vocab you're going to need is all here. Okay, I'm not going to go through that. However, I want you to pause this video in order to familiarize yourself a bit more with the thing we have done uh, many weeks ago. Okay, remember before the lockdown, we just basically started unit number four and we finished it during the lockdown. So unit three is, uh, you know, at least a good 10 or 11 weeks ago. So pause the video and come back afterwards on page 40 and 41. See you in a second. Okay, I'm going to move now. 40, 41. In this unit, as you noticed, as you remembered, okay, we are talking about technology. And the first unit 4.3.1 uh, is comparing and describing okay, old and new technology. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to use the activity number one as just a quick uh, uh, recap exercise. So you have an old mobile phone right here, and you have, I'm not going to say something that's so new, but you have a newish mobile phone. Okay. Touch screen, not touch screen. So les écouteurs number one, it is F, écouteur, you can recognize écouter, which is the headphones. Deux, les touches. This is B, the keys. L'appareil photo. This is E, the camera. For l'écran, this is A, the screen. And now we have l'écran tactile, a tactile or touch screen. And obviously, this is C. And les applis the contraction for application, applications, apps. This is D. Okay. Please do read the grammar notes here, which is going to explain you, you know, and remind you some stuff regards to the adjectives. Exercise number two. Now, you guys, you're going to do that after I've explained that to you and after I'm going to show you the correction. You need to read the six statement A to F and uh, choose what word from activity number one, one to six, they're talking about. So if we take the example, A, j'aime mon nouveau portable parce que je peux écouter de la musique. So which word is it? It is one. Why? This is the music he likes. So he needs to have his headphones. Écouteur is headphones. So pause the video and come back afterwards for the correction. Welcome back. What should we have then? Well, if we look at this list, let's do that like that. B. Je n'aime pas mon vieux portable car l'écran est trop petit. Okay. This is four. Si, comme il y a un appareil photo, je préfère mon nouveau portable. Appareil photo. I, the camera. D, je déteste mon vieux portable parce qu'il n'y a pas d'appli. This is D. Sorry, D. The number, the number is, um, sorry. Is apps. 
est for six. I. Comme il y a un écran tactile, j'adore mon nouveau portable. Of course. 5. And. F. Je n'aime pas mon vieux portable car il y a des touches. 2. Ok. Would be fun if you guys would translate those sentences. Have you noticed that I haven't translated it for them? For you? That's normal because you can do that. I'm not going to offer the correction for that. So pause the video to do this and then after it's just for practice. Now, shall we redo exercise number three? It's not a difficult one. Listen to the client in the shop. Okay, specifically a phone shop. And there's a six extract, and I would like you to write the transcription. Yes, that's remember the exercises the listening we've been doing in the past twice. Yes, the listen and write what you hear. This is exactly that, but now it's paragraphs. So you're going to have to take your time. I'm going to play it. You might have to go and play it a few times. If it's not an activity for you, you can skip it, but I will show you the answers afterwards. So you could try a little bit if you want. Are you ready? Okay. Let's go then. Unité 3. Accro à la technologie. Page 40. Activité 3. Pour la première fois, les ventes de smartphones dépassent celles des portables ordinaires. Me voilà dans un magasin de téléphones portables pour radio aller. Je vais demander aux clients pourquoi ils ont acheté un smartphone. 1. Bonjour mademoiselle, pourquoi avez-vous acheté un nouveau portable aujourd'hui Je n'aime pas mon vieux portable parce qu'il est noir et assez petit. 2. Et vous monsieur je préfère mon nouveau smartphone parce qu'il y a un grand écran tactile. 3. Et vous, madame Comme le vieux a un petit écran avec des touches, je préfère mon nouveau portable. 4. Et vous, monsieur, pourquoi un smartphone Je déteste mon vieux portable car il n'y a pas d'appareil photo. 5. Madame Moi aussi, je préfère mon nouveau portable parce qu'il y a un appareil photo. Le nouveau est bleu électrique aussi. C'est joli. 6. Et finalement, vous, madame, vous êtes contente de votre nouveau portable Ah oui, j'adore mon nouveau portable car il y a beaucoup d'applis. How was that? Was it okay? Difficult? Need to play it again? Okay, I'm going to show you the uh, answers. Now, basically, I'm going to show you a transcript because you have to do a transcription. So, here we go. The bit you need is right here, okay? The key thing which was the most important is their response. So the first response was this one here. You can pause the video at any point for you to uh, to check it against your work. Okay, have you checked that? So now I'm going to show you the next part here. There we go. This one there for number three. You have number four here. Number five was a bit longer. It actually was the longest of them all. And number six. How does it compare with your transcription? Accurate? Inaccurate? Information missing? Just words? Is it just a spelling? You see, that's a valuable exercise, really. Even if this is a listening exercise, it does help you with vocabulary and spellings. Cool. Now we're going to move on to page 41. 
you're going to read your exercise number five. You have to read the paragraph right here and answer the questions in English with the little extra there. Don't hesitate to refer a little bit to the orange box here. It's always very good for recapping and reviewing some valuable information. So pause the video, do this exercise and come back for the correction. Have you finished? Okay, because now I'm going to reveal the answers for those questions. You can pause the video now in order to check that. Have you noticed that there is no specific extra detail from the text? Basically, you could have written anything else. Right, now we're going to move on to the next, the next bit. So we're going to change it a little bit. I'm not going to go now to do, um, for example, the Kerboodle exercises. I'm thinking it's quite a good idea to keep them all grouped together. So I'm going to carry on with the units. However, in order, before we, uh, before we move on, just bear in mind that you should have in your best book and also ready for any kind of uh, assessments because all the answers are there, an answer for 3.1. Okay. You should have one. I can't remember the title of this question, but you have something labeled 3.1. Now, let's move on to page 42 and 43. And here we're talking about technology and leisure activities. At any point, you can go back to page 57 to check the vocabulary, obviously. So what do we have for this first activity? So I'm not going to do it as a listening. We're just going to do that uh, right now together. So here you have a uh, various expression being used in order to say how to use the technology at home, whether this is your tablet, mobile phone, computer, TV, etc., etc. So A, we have regarder les émissions en streaming. B, écouter de la musique en ligne. C, jouer à des jeux en ligne. D, surfer et trouver des sites intéressants, I, aller sur les réseaux sociaux, and F, passer des appels vidéo. And obviously, on top of that, we have as well some uh, basic justification from divertissant, entertaining, to rapid, fast. Have you noticed that I haven't translated anything? Because I want you to go back and search the unknown vocabulary for yourself, vocabulary page 57, or you can go online for that. Excellent. Exercise number two is what we need here. Now we're dealing with extended sentences and they are dealing with opinion and justifications. When you give an opinion, try to justify it by using a connective in the middle of a sentence. Parce que is a good one. There is another expression to say because, which is car. It's very useful if you want to avoid a repetition. Then, using come at the beginning of a sentence. Come here will be used as a word because or as. It doesn't mean because, that's why it has double meaning. And beginning with an infinitive phrase. Passé des appels vidéo, making video calls. So you're going to do this work here. I would like you to translate each of the statements here. I've started A for you with, I like to watch streamed program because. So pause the video before I show you the correction. Okay, we are back now. Are you ready to see the answers? So this is what we have for the first part. Okay, you can pause any point. And then the next bit, sorry, is here. Just right there. I'm sorry that uh, 
you know, I can't have everything on one slide and everything, but it would take a lot of time to produce that. I decided for swift revisions. How was it, your translation? Was you okay? I hope so. Now, let's do exercise number three, page 42. need to use a table and you're going to complete it in English. Listen to the interview. Can you note down the activities they are doing? Why? And any, any other extra details. Let's go. Page 42, activité 3. Excusez-moi les jeunes, on fait un sondage. Vous voulez bien nous aider Bon, ben, d'accord. Allez-y, madame. Qu'aimez-vous faire à l'aide des nouvelles technologies Moi, euh, j'aime me connecter à Internet et aller sur les réseaux sociaux pour rester en contact avec mes amis parce que c'est facile et pratique. J'aime faire ça quand j'ai beaucoup de devoirs, par exemple, et que je ne peux pas sortir. Mais... J'aime aussi surfer et trouver des sites intéressants pour m'aider à faire mes devoirs. C'est très informatif. Ok, merci. Et ton copain J'adore jouer à des jeux en ligne. C'est cool. J'aime ça parce que c'est très divertissant et ça me relaxe. J'aime télécharger de la musique aussi parce que c'est simple et peu cher. J'ai une collection énorme. Je vous remercie tous les deux et au revoir. Excusez-moi les jeunes, on fait un sondage. Vous voulez bien nous... How was that? If you need to listen to it again, you know what to do. Otherwise, finish your work and then after continue so you can get the answers. Are you ready for the answers? Here we are. Pause the video for you to check. Now the second part, right here. Okay, excellent. Now we're moving on to page 43 with this rather big paragraph titled Accro à la technologie. I remind you, this is normal if you think, hmm, we've done that. Yes, we've done it. We're doing revisions now. And you're doing that without the work you've done previously. You're redoing the work. So, are you up for that now? Let's go. So, what you have to answer is all those statements right here. Are they true or false? Vrai ou faux? So, Matisse described if he's hooked to technology and Lola does the same. Check the vocabulary here and after. Off you go. Then after, you can do as well the translation of Lola's paragraph into English. Pause the video and come back when you're done for the correction. Welcome back. Are you ready for the correction? They're here. All the statements which were true are here. All the statements which are false are here. And now, are you ready for the translation of the last paragraph? We've got it here. Back. So pause the video in order for you to, to take your time and compare it with your work. Let's go now for the rest. 
there are actually not that much to do on this page as we're not going to do the speaking, obviously. But can you go and check in your best book if you have a question and an answer for 3.2? That should be there. And then when you're done, we're moving on to page 44 and 45. Right. Now we're back for the third part of this uh, unit. Are you still awake? I know it's long and everything, but you pace it the way you like. Okay, I know the video is long, but you have at least plenty of opportunities to do some revisions. Can't complain, you haven't got enough. Now, for this one here, and this is where we tackle the, 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 the issues, okay, regards to social media. So something related to uh, new technology. So the dangers of social networking. Exercise number one was basically the reinforcement of the core vocabulary. Okay. And the first bit was, can you categorize th those dangers into cyber permanence, cyber bullying, cyber safety, and cyber addiction? Cyber addiction is la cyber dépendance, safety, sécurité, bullying, intimidation, and cyber permanence. Okay, check out the vocabulary here for exercise number two, which is both a listening and a reading. Okay, so what are they talking about, those people? Are they talking about cyber permanence, bullying, safety, or addiction? Can you match that, okay, with the correct paragraph? I'm not going to play the track because that's literally uh, giving you you know, the same as this. But, however, if you, you want to practice reading that, you can do that. So, pause the video for you to do this exercise, matching those paragraphs with the risk from activity number one. Okay, have you finished? Let's go for the correction. Here they are. 1C, 2B, 3D, and 4A. I'm sure you've been very successful with that. Let's move on now to another type of activity we can do with those paragraphs. Exercise number 3, page 44. You need to find in the text, so you need to find in the text the French for the phrases you have from A to F. Pause the video for you to do that now. Okay? Before I show you the corrections, don't you want to do one of this paragraph? If you want, you can do the translation for all of them. Okay, not very difficult. Now I'm going to show you the answers. Ready? Let's go. Here we go. Pause the video for you to do that. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to show you the, I don't think I have the translation, direct translation straight away, okay, for those paragraphs. But I'm pretty sure that, you know, given you have all your equipment, vocabulary pages, the internet dictionaries, notes, and already we've done the work, I don't think that would be too much of an issue. Let's move on to page 45. We're not going to do exercise number four. However, it's quite interesting to remind you a little bit regards to impersonal structures. Remember those impersonal structures? The impersonal structures are the ready-made structures which we use to say like it is essential, okay, one or two, we should, that is kind of things. So look at those expressions in French. The structure per preposition such as de plus infinitive. So the structure, il est essentiel, okay, plus a preposition, de, and you have the infinitive. So it is essential to limit. 
you can have a structure plus the infinitive. It's essentially the same thing. Il faut traiter. However, you're not going to substitute this one for this one. So for example, the de will not go there. And here, you have to put the de. Or you use il, il est or c'est, depending on the register. Formal, il est spoken, c'est. Okay? Now, we are going to do this exercise number six. Can you see on your right hand side the kind of uh, website or blog, okay, the tablet? What I want you to do is to translate each of these advice because there are advice you have to apply online to be protected. You can you translate them into English? Pause the video before I show you the correction. Are you finished? Because now I'm going to show you all these translations. Let's go. You can pause the video at any point. Once you're done, now we go back to page 45 just to remind you that you should have an answer in your best book labeled 3.3. .3. Can you check that, please? Almost the end of this unit, but remember, Sid got a lot of practice as well with other type of exercises. So for 3.4 now, we are dealing with opinions for and opinions against technology. So the thing we have to do in this exercise number one on page 46 is to link the English to the French translation. Nice and easy. Pause the video for you to do that and I show you the correction afterwards. I hope you're done now because I'm going to show you the answers. Here they are. 1C, 2A, 3F, 4E, 5H, 6G, 7D and 8B. Successful, I hope. Now, let's look at this paragraph here, written by Clarice. However, if you fancy to do another exercise with the activity number one, you can do, if you want, exercise number three on page 46. You need to uh, read the phrases and decide if this is an argument for, argument pour, P, contre, against C, or it could be both P and C, the new technology. Okay, so you can do that. And then after you can work on how many cognates and near cognates you can find, and can you spot the infinitive structures we talked about in the previous unit 3.3. .3. However, now I'm interested to do exercise number four. So Clarice is obviously talking about opinion in regards to technology and she's giving a lot of argument for and against. Can you read her blog? If you need to have access to some vocabulary, you know what to do, dictionaries, vocab page, etc. And decide if each, if all the statements you have here from A to F, which are in English, are true or false. Take some time to do that and come back for the correction. Are you done? Let's go and check this out. Oh, sorry. That was from the previous exercise. Give me one second and I'll come back to you with the correct thing. I'm done, yes. That's great about new technology. Here, with the computer, it can be very fast. Bending space and time. You can see the correction here. You can post the video for you to uh, double check that. So now we're just going to move on to page 47. 
ignore the fact that, you know, here is not going to help us to structure an argument. You're going to hear an argument. I don't know if you remember this exercise. That's going to be the last one on this page. And for this unit as well. So, exercise number five, listen to the debate and answer the questions in English. It's always very good, okay, to read the question first so you know exactly what you're going to, uh, what you're going to, uh, to, 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 fa to be faced with. Okay, so take some time to read the question A to F. I uh, want to pay, I want you to pay attention to the fact that uh, A is not fully answered, so there's some more stuff, and then I'm going to play it. Okay, pause for you to do that, because now I'm going to play the track. Page 47, activité 5. Je vais vous expliquer pourquoi je suis pour les nouvelles technologies. Pour commencer, les nouvelles technologies rendent la vie plus simple. Je pense à la possibilité de faire du shopping en ligne, par exemple. En outre, il est facile de rester en contact avec des gens, avec ses amis ou sa famille, par exemple. Et c'est plus rapide aussi. Pour terminer, avec les nouvelles technologies, on a accès à une source d'informations très riche. On peut surfer et consulter des wikis, par exemple. Moi, je vais vous expliquer pourquoi je suis contre les nouvelles technologies. Premièrement, cela décourage les jeunes de faire de l'activité physique et si on passe trop de temps en ligne, on risque de devenir antisocial. Deuxièmement, je suis d'accord qu'il est facile de rester en contact avec les gens, mais il y a un risque d'être victime de prédateurs du net ou de cyberintimidation. Finalement, Internet est une source d'informations très riche, mais ce n'est pas toujours fiable ou crédible. Oops, I've just realized the mistake I've done. I did show you the wrong uh, correction for the exercise we did on page uh, 46 about uh, Clarice. I'm going to show that to you right now. Sorry. Here are the answers for the Clarice exercise. Can you pause the videos? the video for you to be able to do that. And then I'm not going to show you the answers for the listening you've done before. My bad. Okay, you've done that. Okay, so now we're just going to jump back to this exercise here, okay? So I'm going to show you now the answer for that. Are you ready for the answers? So it's going to be in two uh, sections, unfortunately. Okay, so you have the answers for A and B and the beginning for C. Post the video for you to check. And now I'm going to show you the answers for the rest here. There you go. You can post the video for you to check that. Okay, excellent. So now we have finished 3.4 now. Okay, what you should check is in your best book, if you have a question and an answer for 3.4, can you check in your best book for that? And once you've done that, let's go and turn to page 48 and 49. In this unit, we're going to look at which one is the best gadget. Of course, the list is not going to be super extensive. Okay. So we have uh, some uh, items here offered. A, B, C, and D. They all represent a specific device. And you have his description at the bottom. Would you be able to 
match the descriptions with the correct instrument. Are you done? Okay. So what you should have is number one, a smartphone. Some people use a telephone intelligent smartphone. Okay, obviously this is D. Two, balada numérique. This is A. Yes, probably you haven't seen that very often, but this one was almost like a, a mini iPod. Three, the tablet, and four, l'ultra portable. Uh, I've said that many times to you. Ultra portable doesn't mean anything. Okay, I think this term they use in French at the uh, in French at the beginning, but people use the word portable, which is also the word for mobile phone. Be careful. So if you want to extend or do something extra with this exercise, you can translate any of the descriptions here. Now we're moving on to exercise number two. Here it's all about making comparisons using the correct prepositions. Using the preposition A. So what we need to do is this preposition is going to change depending on the gender of the thing you compare it with is going to be O for, for masculine expressions, a la for feminine expressions, A L apostrophe for expressions starting with a H or a vowel, or O spelled, or spelled differently than this O here for plural. So the type of expressions we can come up with now is je préfère la tablette au smartphone. I prefer the tablet to the smartphone. Smart. It's nice, isn't it? It's quite smart. Okay. In this exercise here, which we've done already before, it just shows you how to use them. So, for example, you know, what would you choose? Qu'est-ce qu'on préfère? Je préfère smartphone parce que here you have a word to add depending okay, on what you want to use. Feminine, masculine. So, je préfère la tablette au smartphone, because it's masculine, so je préfère la tablette au smartphone parce que les grands est plus grand. What would you have for B, C, D, E, and F? Pause the video. This, do this exercise. I will give you the answers. Are you done? Okay. So you should have had for B, je préfère la tablette à l'ultra portable. A, L apostrophe, car c'est plus léger. Si je préfère le baladeur numérique à la tablette, parce que c'est plus petit, à la tablette because it's feminine. Dis, je préfère le smartphone au portable traditionnel, car c'est nouveau. Portable traditionnel is masculine, so it is O. I, je préfère l'ultra portable à la tablette parce que c'est plus durable. À la tablette because it's feminine. And here, obviously, the green tells you it's plural. Comme j'aime lire où et quand je veux, je préfère les livres numériques aux livres traditionnels. O, A, U, X. How does it compare with the answers? Good. Excellent. Moving on to page 49, exercise number two, uh, exercise number four. We're going to skip exercise number four. Remember that for our year test or year assessment, we don't have any listening to do. And we've done a few already before. So for exercise number four, as usual, you have to answer those questions in English. So pause the video and you can do that. And don't forget to do exercise the, the second part as well. You have to translate the underlined phrases. So pause the video now. Are you finished? Are you ready for the correction? Okay, let's go for that now. Here they are. You can pause the video for you to do that. 
OK. So, my friends, we are done for this unit 3.5 after we check that we have an answer for 3.5 in our best book. Can you check that now? And now we're going to uh, do some uh, uh, practice well, with other things. So I'm going to uh, lead you now to uh, Kabuto and we're going to see a few exercises. So that's going to be, now we're going to be working again on the various part of unit number three. Now 3.1, I've got a couple of exercises for you here. Let's go and start with the first one. Very easy, you know, very quickly can you match the French to the English. Pause the video and just come back. All right, welcome back. Of course, let's contact till this is the touch screen. L'appareil photo, the camera. Les applis, apps, les touches, the buttons, and obviously the écouteur, earphones. Easy. Let's move on to the next activity, which is a bit more difficult. Now, the way we're going to do that is you're going to pause every single time to write your answer. I'm going to show you the suggestions with the drop down menu and then after do the correction. Are you ready? First one. Pause the video. 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 OK, let's go for the answers now. Je préfère ma tablette. Ma, sorry, je préfère ma nouvelle tablette. Féminine. Je déteste mon vieux, vieux, sorry, mon vieil ordinateur, starting with the vowel. J'adore mon nouveau portable masculin. Je n'aime pas mon nouveau lecteur MP3 masculin. J'adore ma nouvelle console féminine. J'aime mon nouvel appareil photo. Masculine, but starting with the vowel. How was that? Okay. Excellent. So, now we're going to move on to 3.2 with Kerbudo. Okay, guys, for 3.2, I've got only one activity. We're going to do this one here, which is a writing activity. You can change that into... Uh, if you want a reading as well by translating the sentences. But what you need to do is you need to reorder all those blocks in order to make the correct sentence. They helped you every single time by giving you, obviously, the first word for the sentence. Okay, nice and easy. I can do that for you right now. So pause the video. Rewrite your sentences in the correct order. You can translate them and then come back for the correction. Okay, welcome back. How was that? So, the first one is J'aime aller sur les réseaux sociaux. J'aime aller euh, sur les réseaux sociaux. There we go. It should have been translated as I like to go on social network. The next one. Jouer en ligne. Uh, so, so, jouer en ligne, c'est... Oh, sorry, jouer à des jeux en ligne. I forgot those bits here. C'est cool. Next one, j'aime télécharger, remember, you know, 
that's an infinitive we've seen these structures here we've done it the same way here j'aime télécharger de la musique we have i like to download music and here i forgot to translate it is playing online games is cool and the last one is je passe beaucoup de temps à surfer sur internet. I spent a lot of time surfing the internet. So, do you manage? Cool. So, I'm going to see you now in a second for some more so, some work on 3.3. Right, so I've got a couple of activities for you here. The first one is, can you see this big paragraph? You're going, when you're going to pause, you're going to try to fit in, okay, the missing blocks, the missing expression in this paragraph. So pause the video for you to do that and come back when you're done. Have you finished? Yeah, are you ready for the correction? I'm going to show it to you right now. Here we go, magic. Successful? Hope so. Now, the next activity is a matching activity. So can you match the French to the English or the English to French? Post the video and I show you the answers in a second. And also, here we go for the answers. So, parler avec un adulte is to talk to an adult. Il est impossible d'effacer. It is impossible to remove or to erase. Uh, limiter son usage is to limit your use. Ne pas mettre son nom complet. Don't put your full name. And traiter les autres. It is treat others. Okay? So, that's the work we have for 3.3. Let's look at what we have in 3.4. Right, we have two exercises was quite interesting for us here. This one here first. So you take each of those statements here and you need to label them as for or against. So pause the video and come back when you've done this. Welcome back. So, what do you have for the first one? On risque le, on prend le risque d'être victime. This is against. Il est facile de rester en contact. For. Internet est une source d'information riche. For. Cela décourage. Against. Les informations against les, les nouvelles technologies for on risque de devenir antisocial against sont cher, euh, les nouvelles technologies sont chères against ok and the second exercise we can do is this one here where you have to re, uh, reorder all those phrases to create the full paragraph. Okay. I'm going to help you with giving you the first one. The first one is this one. Je vais vous expliquer pourquoi. Okay. Right. Pause the video and uh, come back for the correction. There we go. Here are the answers for this exercise. If you hear a bit of shouting, it's the <laughs> two kids next door. They've got uh, uh, a six years old and uh, and a four years old. So they're a bit hyper. That could fun though, a boy and a girl. Okay, how was that? Yeah, now with this exercise, now you can pause, you can do the translation. I won't provide the answer for the translation, but as good practice. As usual, remember, it's not, it's not all about, okay, the answers, the gain. It's about, okay, the process, the work behind it. Okay, excellent.
So we're going to move on now to 3.5 and see what we have in there for us. For 3.5, I've got two activities for you. The first one is a, a matching. Actually, you have to complete each of these sentences. So pause the video in order for you to do that and come back when you're done. Are you done? Let's go then. J'ai une appli qui me permet de prendre des photos. Nice and easy, this one. Je préfère l'ordiphone à la tablette parce que c'est plus petit. L'ordiphone est à la fois un ordinateur et un portable. Ma tablette m'a été offerte pour mon anniversaire. And the last one. Le gadget de mes rêves serait des lunettes intelligentes. As an extension activity, you could translate these five sentences. But now we're going to move on to the second task. You need to reorder each block to form the correct sentences. And as usual, to help you, they're giving you the beginning of each of those sentences which I'm doing right now for you. Pause the video and come back for the answers. Here we go. Here are the answers. Now, why don't you translate these four sentences as an extension activity? Okay. Right, so now we're going to go back to our textbook, if you don't mind, and we're going to see what we have on the following pages, 50, and so on and so forth. Also some exercises we have done together in class or as homework, but we can redo them. So, on page 50. Position and agreement of adjectives. Right? What I'm going to do is, as I've done before, I'm going to guide you, okay, during these exercises, I guess. So the first exercise here, okay, copy each sentence, uh, copy and complete each sentence. Be careful with the adjectives, okay? I'm going to show you the, ans uh, the answers almost virtually straight after. Okay, can you pause the video so you can do that? So the answers are, you can pause the video for you to do that, and then after you can come back, pause now. Right, now the next activity we can do is this one. A bit of reordering things, we've done a lot of that. That's good practice, that makes your brain going and uh, think clearly about what you have to, uh, to write. So. Do that and come back after for the correction. Are you done? Okay, here they are. Pause the video so you can take your time and do that. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the textbook. Now we're moving on to page 51. A bit of a translation in French. Pause the video and uh, come back to me. Okay, good. Here they are. Pause the video. You know the trick. Right, now we're going to be uh, going to page 52 of our textbook now. This is where we're going to do also some more exercises. I'm not going to offer a correction for that because it's so easy, but you can do this. Then after you're moving on to exercise number two, matching halves. Okay. Same thing. I'm not going to offer any correction, but that is I'm going to guide you through the exercise that you should be doing. And as an extension, you can translate those sentences afterwards. Then exercise number three, read the text. 
complete the table straightforward now we are on page 53 you need to reorder some words for exercise number one exercise number two we read this article regards to addiction to smartphone and answer those questions and then we move on moving on to extension uh, re extension reading so those page here because they are quite difficult work i am going to show you the answers okay so the first thing you have to do is on page 54 is to read each paragraph you're going to come across some rather difficult okay uh, vocabulary and expression this is normal this is extension this one once you have done that, I would like you to answer those two exercises. Then you pause the video, uh, now you pause the video and then you come back and I will show you the answers. Right? Okay. See you in a sec. Now, if you're finished and you're ready to see the answers, here they are. The two exercises in the same time. Number one and number two. So pause the video so you can just process that at your own pace. Now we're going to move on to a video now, as we've done for 3.3. It's actually quite interesting to do the videos, don't you think? Yeah, watch them, you know, if you don't like them, skip it. So a few things to do with that. So I'm going to explain you each exercise and after I will play the video. It's about the gadget préféré, the preferred gadget. This is episode number three for module number three or unit number three the way you like to call it so which gadget are they talking about so here's a list of gadgets and you have to pick the one they are mentioning in the video exercise two read the opinions a to e and who says them is it clarisse jules zaid or zayed sorry gemili or basile don't worry in the video they're all going to be you know, nominated. Three, how does the young people, okay, use their gadget? Who talks about each activity? So here's a list. And you can scrap exercise number four. So you have your page 55 open in front of you, and I'm going to play the video for you now. Are you ready? Let's go. J'adore ce nouveau défi. C'est fait pour moi. Oui, comme tu es accro à la technologie. Bien sûr. La technologie est très importante à Montpellier. Mais quel est le gadget préféré des jeunes et pourquoi On est ici à la médiathèque pour faire un sondage et répondre à cette question. J'adore les sondages. Moi, je vais commencer. J'adore mon nouveau portable. C'est un smartphone. Tu as un ordiphone J'adore les ordiphones parce qu'on peut tout faire, surfer et trouver des sites intéressants. C'est à moi. Oui, je préfère mon nouveau smartphone à mon ancien portable. Car je peux lire des mails, écouter de la musique, aller sur les réseaux sociaux, tout est possible. Tu peux même envoyer des textos. Maintenant à moi. Je déteste mon ancienne console car elle est démodée. Je préfère ma nouvelle tablette car il y a un écran tactile et je peux tout faire avec. Attention, le risque d'un gadget si intelligent, c'est l'addiction. Tu as raison, je ne peux plus me séparer de ma tablette. Moi, j'aime mon vieil ordi, car il est grand et des touches, c'est facile à utiliser. Combien de temps passes-tu devant ton ordinateur, Souraya En moyenne, je passe deux heures par jour devant mon ordinateur parce que je fais mes devoirs en ligne. Mais le week-end, je passe environ trois heures à regarder des émissions en streaming. Alors ça, c'est super Est-ce que je pourrais venir chez toi pour voir un film C'est moins cher que d'aller au cinéma. Quand tu veux, Zayed 
Moi, je préfère mon ordi. Et toi, Gemini, c'est quoi ton gadget préféré Moi, je déteste mon vieil ordinateur parce qu'il est trop grand et démodé. Je préfère ma nouvelle tablette parce qu'elle est légère, je peux l'emmener partout. C'est très pratique. Est-ce qu'elle a un appareil photo Oui, bien sûr, regarde. Moi, mon gadget préféré, c'est ma tablette. Moi, c'est ma console de jeux vidéo. C'est très facile à utiliser et très divertissant. En moyenne, je passe 3 à 4 heures par jour à jouer sur ma console. Moi aussi, t'as vu le nouveau jeu de... Mais on ne doit pas y passer trop de temps. Moi, j'aime mon ordi, mais j'aimerais avoir un smartphone aussi. Voyons, deux points pour les smartphones, deux points pour les tablettes, deux points pour les ordinateurs, un point pour la console de jeu. Ça ne marche pas, on n'a pas un gadget qui gagne, il faut demander à d'autres jeunes. Pardon, quel est ton gadget préféré et pourquoi mmh, Je préfère mon vieux portable. Je n'aime pas aller en ligne parce que j'ai peur de la cyber-intimidation. C'est important de se protéger en ligne, tu sais. Excuse-moi, quel est ton gadget préféré Mon gadget préféré, c'est mon smartphone, bien sûr. J'adore mon nouveau smartphone parce qu'il est léger, moderne, il y a un écran tactile, c'est pratique et rapide. Tu es accro à la technologie, donc je suis cyber-dépendante. Donc, 4 points pour les smartphones, 2 points pour les tablettes, 2 points pour les ordinateurs, 1 point pour la console de jeu. Ici, à Montpellier, on aime les gadgets les plus modernes. Jules, qu'est-ce que tu fais Je suis que ta forme de jeune. Je veux savoir ce que pensent les autres jeunes à Montpellier. Vous voyez Surfer, c'est éducatif, informatif et addictif. <rire> On est ici à la médiathèque pour faire un sondage. J'adore mon nouveau portable, c'est un smartphone. Mais le week-end, je passe environ 3 heures à regarder des émissions en streaming. Je préfère ma nouvelle tablette. Parce qu'elle est légère, je peux l'emmener partout. Moi, c'est ma console de jeux vidéo. C'est très facile à utiliser et très divertissant. Ok. How was that? You like it? told you, you know, sometimes it's nice to do uh, something a bit different. So, remember, you have to do that, those exercise, exercise one, two, uh, three, and ignore exercise number four. So when you're ready, you come back, and I will show you the answers for that. Are you ready for the corrections? Let's go then. Here they are, all on one page for you. So pause the video and double check everything. Okay, let's go back to the textbook now. We're finally uh, almost at the end, almost, almost at the end. And I'm going to offer you just probably one or two more exercises. Let's see what we have in here. Actually, you know what? We're going to do only one exercise. This uh, reading. We're going to keep it simple and keep it in line with what we have to uh, revise for. So here, of course, what I'm saying, you read the text and answer the question in English. Nice and easy. Okay. So I see you in about, you know, two or three minutes when you answer that for the answers. See you in a sec. Are we done? Right. So there we go. Here are all the answers you need. Pause the video so you can do that at your own pace. And let's go back to the textbook now. 
where the last thing we have obviously is some further revisions regards to the vocabulary you know all of this is always like you know low maintenance but uh, little and often this is the advice i'm going to give you how was it i know again very very long but at least it's quite comprehensive you have everything in one place the exercises the videos the sound files the answers Pew. took me a lot of time to do that i can tell you okay so i am not going to offer anything for unit number four why because it's everything we've done during the lockdown so what you need to do is just go back to your virtual exercise book and check what you've done inside uh I think this is it. I think that, you know, <laughs> try to imagine how long it took me to do this. So I hope, I really do hope you have uh, you, you have enjoyed. Enjoy is a big word, I know. I hope that you have appreciated a little bit, uh, you know, all the exercises I've put together for you with all the answers. And uh, don't forget to uh, share that with the year nines or whoever, you know, do whatever you like with that. I am, um, don't mind because there are knowledge and knowledge is free and should be easily transferable to other people. So you take care of yourself, guys. Okay. Bye-bye.